What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So we hope you had a great Easter, um, a good Easter weekend. Maybe a lot of you were off. I'm not sure, but Corey almost won the adult Easter egg hunt. I was one egg <laughs> off from winning the grand prize of $50. You're still a winner to me. <laughs> well, that's good. But we are back with the mousetrap. Yes, this is the mousetrap. It looks a little bit different without the body and uh, trying to do the front air right on this thing. And as you can see, it has wheels and tires. These are not the wheels. The wheels we're running look really, really similar to this. I mean, pretty much that, but our other wheels are straight. These these may or may not be straight, we don't know. But yeah. we got we tires. We just got these for mock-ups so we can just get going on this because we um, are waiting on the wheels to be straightened. Which they're done. So all I gotta do is make a trip to almost to Cincinnati, Ohio, pick them up, have them painted or powder coated. But we got the tires on it. And that brings us to what we're doing today. Front airbags and um, pretty much we got a rolling chassis now. If we had airbags on it, we could raise it up oh, and move it. So let's go ahead and show you guys what we're doing to do the front airbags on this car. Okay, so here is the plan of attack. I don't have a tube bender, so I had my buddy Shane build us some hoops. And here it is, but this is what I started off with. <laughs> oh my. Well, I had to make a bend somehow. So what I did was I took the chop saw and cut however many slots in it, bent it around, and this is what I came up with. So this will go like this, and these will be welded to the frame, and then this is our airbag mock-up. So instead of putting the back, it's hard to deflate the bag, so with this, this is pretty much representing the airbag when it's flat. So this is gonna go on here like this, and then, hold on, <laughs> that goes like that. So that is the plan. So I went ahead and took this one. This one I already cut the size. So this is gonna go here like this. That goes there like that. And there you have it. That is how the front air ride is going to be set up on the mousetrap. But I don't want, I was afraid with the leverage pushing up against this way that it needed a bar or something. So once we mirror image both sides together, there'll be a piece of tubing to go across. So um, they're pushing against each other in the long run. I don't know. That's, that's, I think it'll work. I guess there's only one way to find out is just to do it. And if it don't work, we'll do it again, I guess. But <laughs> I don't know. I, I kind of like, I was kind of wanting them straight up and down originally, but after seeing them laid at an angle, I kind of like the way it looks at an angle. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna run with it. Homie, you wanna come help me hold these pieces? Oh. <laughs> yeah, someone said if I don't take safety seriously, I need to stay out of the garage. I am taking this very serious. Um, it looks gloves, like it. it looks these like gloves are um, so I don't mess up my nails and get dirt in my nails and stuff. Um, this hat is so I don't mess up my hair. And whenever I do do well, I don't want my head to swell any bigger than it has to. Um, the glasses, I want to make sure my eyelashes stay perfect all the time. So um, I don't want my makeup ruined. And then the vest, I just want everyone to be able to see me. <laughs> oh, and these boots. Okay. Are they made They're, for walking? They are definitely made for walking. I really just like to wear them so people think that I work in the garage. <laughs> um, so I am ready to go. I don't know how anyone could work in these. They have like a line right here and I feel like- They're by, they're, they're so for like blind people. Yeah. I'm gonna be blind wearing these. <laughs> that is dumb. All right, here we go. Just make sure it's set in. Okay. Get it in the hood? Yep. <laughs> all right we do have it all tacked into place and i forgot to tell you guys what exactly we are using so these are ride tech um airbag airbag mounts for uh inch and a half tubing so what i did was 
obviously mounted them on there and then the bottom tube is nine inch and a half so i just cut the ear off and let it recess back in there i kind of already pre-planned some of this just so you know we could get the ball rolling but um i thought these were neat so i bought them for this they work great they look good and then of course we are using our airlift dominator um d2600 airbags on the front and rear like i was saying in the last video i like using these bags on everything if you have a bag failure it you know even if you have a spare that spare will fit on hannah's truck or this or the lodestar and stuff like that so there's one side down how are we gonna get the hardest part is gonna be cloning the other side but why well just make sure your cuts are right and the airbag and everything is where it needs to be well i think the hardest part is going to be getting the actual airbag yeah we're gonna have to really between compress there. them in there yeah that's where you come in oh i already see this thing going like well, I've, me you and I, all these people are too i know, I know i'm trying <laughs> <laughs> me you and all these people well i guess you want to do the other side then i just had a great idea what is your great idea idea Beatersville can be the what do you call that when something uh, you show it off yeah reveal um Wait, can we have like a debut like... yeah I want to have or it can be at night when's Beaterville? like may something um the end of may so you got a month <laughs> okay. well a little less i'd like to have both of these at Beatersville. <laughs> well yep oh and if you notice my truck is in the garage we are going to have to be doing maintenance on that today. Come with me. i got to show you something. So we sold our fourth gen, so we got to use Hannah's 2001 Dodge to pull our camper. I just want you to see inside because oh, it's was... beautiful, and I just cleaned it, and it deserves um, a look, a little look-see in there. We have a lot of maintenance to do on this, um, ball joints, and then front rotors, brakes, all that, the pads, yeah. everything. Pretty much we need to rebuild the front end before we go, and we leave... And Wednesday night. Yeah, Wednesday night. So we have two full days. Not even full now because nope. it's, it's half the two o'clock now. Um, but we have two days until we take off. We've got to get the camper ready, this ready, um, do a little bit of stuff to my Viking, and we're still going to be working on the mouse trap. So yeah. So this video is not only just the mouse trap, but it's also about we're going to do um, maintenance on this truck. We got to get the camper. We got some new tail lights and stuff for it. We got to do some maintenance on the Viking. So we got a lot to do before Wednesday. What are you doing now? Uh, <laughs> I kind of put the, now I got to get the bolt out of here. So Is get, it really hot? Yeah, she's pretty hot. So I got to remove, <laughs> now we got to remove the, the dummy block and then <laughs> it's really hot. Well, what about I these? What about work. these? What's, you think that would help? Well, well, yeah, but I don't like I mean, they idea. have my name on it, but I guess you could wear them. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, Keith, um, Keith. Gave us some gloves a while back, so thank you, Keith. Um, these are Hannah's, obviously, because Keith put H on them. So thank you for the gloves, and we had another... Oh, he's the one who did that? Yeah. Well, I appreciate that, because I have found mine in the same spot. Corey will not use mine. <laughs> you thought I put your name on them? Yeah. No. But I know better than that, I guess, now, because he knows if he loses them, his are probably going to get lost before mine. <laughs> Well, maybe <laughs> sometime today. Oh. Uh, hopefully, our bag fits into there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if it don't, then I don't know. I feel like it should. Well, yeah, it, it, you're right. It should. But that's like one well, pancake. Yeah, but we could lift the car up. 
Uh, yeah, we'll grab the floor jack mm -hmm. and then we'll lift the car up, stick it in there, and hopefully that is it. That looks pretty good, I think. Yeah, it looks fantastic. You're in my way. You're in my way. Would you rather have the mouse trap done or the 41 Dodge done? This one's been a long, I would like to no, see this. We need to just finish this. Dang, strong man. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! It's in there, just now we just gotta see it collapsed. Mm hmm. <laughs> Alright, right, we gotta get some through it. First bag is in there. I think it looks good. I mean, there's plenty of clearance here on the frame rail, and uh, that looks good. So let's go ahead and let it down. Oh. That looks good. Yeah. <laughs> I I like it. So then we raise it up. So that'll probably be like ride height. Mm -hmm. So that's what it'll look like. I don't think that looks bad. Mm -mm. And then just. I'm pretty happy with the way that looks, so let's go ahead and before I put that one on, I went ahead and marked the length, the low side and the high side of that one, so they'll both be mirrored image. So let's go ahead and cut it with the grinder, and hopefully I don't lose a finger, and then we'll uh, weld it to that side, mirror image it, and then um, go from there. Hannah's got a jacket on, and it's... 80 degrees. It's middle of spring and Hannah's got a jacket It is not 80. On. It's like maybe 70. Sometimes I'm cold in 80 degree weather. Um, what we're doing right now is, Corey says we are going to pluck the motor. Um, so we are going to take the motor out, which sucks, but oh well. Um, because we want to make sure that these are mirror image of each other. Um, it's hard to do that with the engine in there. It's kind of in the way. Yeah. But now that we know, you know, the clearances stuff is fine. There's nothing really on this side other than the turbo. So we're going to pull it out. Pluck it out. You ready? Yeah. how we're going to mirror image this thing. I got an angle finder. Hannah's got a um, level zip tied to the control arm, which is the same distance on that side. So that's her job. So we're going to take this angle finder, find our angle of this strut tower. That looked pretty good. Shade off. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. All right. So there is our angle. So we're going to simply come over here. Lean it down just a shade somehow, right? <laughs> that's there. your back is your. All right, so there's that. So that's perfect there. We got our measurement up there, right? Mm -hmm. Should be able to tack this in the place. Okay. And hopefully our measurement here is right. Okay. Should hold that. So let's go ahead. We, we did put a line up there where it needed to go, but just to be 100% here. So that's four and three quarter to the back of the tube. Four and three quarter to the back of the tube. And then we're gonna run our bag mount mock up. We're gonna put it on there. Dang. Fits. Um, we have to figure out a way to know where that goes. I wonder how we can do that. Uh, take this tape measure and we can measure from... Or mark the tape measure. Like, put on there. Mark it. Like, say, okay, um, <laughs> Like, this, and then mark the tape measure where they go. Like, put it from... This straight up, that straight up. I like this. <laughs> <laughs> so that's nine and a quarter. Well, I should probably figure out that one first. 
What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's nine. So from the frame, <laughs> nine inches. Okay. You got that marker? Right. So then we gotta go up this one, nine inches. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here, mark That's it. the only way I know. If this is wrong, it's Hannah's idea. Right here? Yeah. Well, you gotta mark the two. I know, I can't see. <laughs> Turkey. Right there? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now measure it from the top so we can see if that's right. It should be the same. Here, you go over there and mess with that. I'll mess with this. Are you embarrassed in my way to know? No. It fits right there. That's 15 and a quarter. Ready? Yeah, but. Yeah. 15 and a quarter. I'm not really as dumb as I look. I never said you was dumb. <laughs> <laughs> and also, we did level everything. Might have to wait Ooh. for the. What? I'm just kidding. Uh, homie, I will say, we did <laughs> no, level everything, perfect. so. The top is level, as I don't know if you guys can see, but it is level here, and then on the back side of the bracket, it is perfectly level as well. That is the reason. <laughs> that is the reason we took the engine out, just so everything was right. So there you have it. We got the right angle on our, um, um, I guess, uh, what are they called? Bars? Bag, bag bars. brackets, bag bars, whatever, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so there we have it, our angle's the same, our distance from the control arm to the, the bag bracket's the same. Uh, welded up, and then now we're gonna be welding a piece of inch and a half tubing from here to here, but we really don't know where that piece of tubing goes till the engine is back in it. So I guess that's kind of next step, we'll, we'll um, weld this up, weld everything up, and put the engine back in. Okay. I guess I'll weld it up. Your helmet, mister. You getting it today or tomorrow? How about tomorrow? <laughs> this don't tell you safety. I don't know what does. <laughs> so we got a... Uh, Looks like we need to grease this one too. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff in the grease. Well, I added this extender on here for something and then it just been handy. So I just rigged this up to work. I'm ready when you are. You ready, finally? inch and a half tubing this is going to go from bag mount to bag mount something like that probably down high up as we can get it so it has the most um, leverage effect on it uh, this way whenever they push they'll be pushing against each other but before we do that we kind of need to know where the radiator and the fan is going in order to do that we got to get the grill in it but in order to get the grill in it we got to remove the front axle so that's where we're at now. We need to remove the front axle, put the grill in it, and then um, continue on and put this bar in there. So I guess that's the next step is we gotta move the axle. Mm -hmm. It's always, it's always something. But. Yes. All right, let's uh, move the axle. With the front axle out of the way, I went ahead and uh, I mocked up the grill and radiator went ahead and put the cross member. The cross member is really close to the engine, but it's pretty much where it has to be. I can't really come down any further because the radiator has to be where it is. And I'll show you guys what radiator we decided to use. I thought it was kind of funny actually, but um, so we're using the Ford 
was it like an F6 or what's it say 600? Yeah. Ford 600 grill. And I kept looking and looking for the perfect radiator. An all aluminum four core radiator for a Ford tractor. It fits in the grill, which uh, this radiator has to go behind this front cross member here. It has to go behind here. So the inlet and outlet. Yeah, I was gonna say those yeah. are gonna have to be angled different. They have to be angled different, but they're on the correct side. So the Mercedes engine is on this side and there's a, uh, the upper one is over here, or you'll see, hold on, here we go. So I'll move this line. So this radiator is gonna have to set something like that. As you can see, the lower hose is hitting. Um, the lower inlet is hitting the pulley for the alternator. So this is just gonna have to come up and then here is our uh, lower outlet or inlet for the engine. So that'll go to there. So modify this one and then this upper one, it'll just, we'll neck it to the right or whatever and it'll go into that one. So that is where that goes. And then there's still plenty of clearance to put our two fans in it. This is probably, I don't know, I feel like this is, I mean, the, the Mercedes radiator was probably not even this big. So I, I'm pretty sure this will be just fine for this. On all our builds, I always try to run a four core radiator. Diesels, you know, they don't tend to get hot as quick as gas trucks or gas engines, but this is what we went with. So we're gonna go ahead, since that's kind of where it's gotta be, we gotta put the grill on it and all that fun stuff. But I just thought it was cool that we used the tractor radiator for this car, I thought it was kind of cool, so. Let's um, go ahead and put our front axle in the place. I guess, do we need to put the grill in it now? Well, the only reason we took the axle out was to put the grill in it to figure out where the cross member goes. There's a lot of uh, putting together and taking apart. All right, we got the grill in it. And me and Hannah was just talking, we need a way to fasten a grill, which we probably won't do that in this video, but with our cross member here, there's a hole right there. Well, that's where the headlight went. That's okay, we can, we need to figure out some kind of headlights. It had headlights, but they were all jank on there. So we're gonna have well, to figure I mean, out something. I definitely think they should still go where they go. Yes, but then we can weld a plate that sandwiches the headlight to the grill, which is the bracket. So to take the grill off, just remove the headlights We'll, we'll figure it out. <laughs> what was that face? The well, face of... Move the headlight. Because the headlight's going to be sandwiched yeah. in the here. It, we'll figure it out. But yeah, it's coming together. Let's let's put our airbags back on. Forgot about them. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do that. I told Corey, <laughs> hey, we can't let the car up now because the grill's in it. You know, to put the bags in there? Well... That's fine. He didn't, you know, listen. And then he just comes over to me and he goes... Well, now we can't really lift it up. We'll have to do one side at a time because the grill's in it. I, I didn't. Did anyone else hear me? I didn't know what <laughs> Why is the axle coming up with it? Oh, I don't know. I <laughs> uh, dropped my bolt into there. Okay. Go ahead and start putting your bag in there. <laughs> We having a pizza night tonight? Heck yeah, I'm hungry. <laughs> My size man. Oh, but I need that. I'm done. The bottom. Just the bottom is all I got to do. I got both the tops in. So. I got both the tops in. Now, there it is. I need a flashlight. I don't know where it's supposed to be at. It's the center hole. Oh. Is all you need. Yeah, but like, I don't know. Is the bag supposed to be centered on? Yeah. There's three holes in the bottom. Yeah. Oh, I 
Probably way too much. Oh, I'll help you. No, I got it. You got it? Almost. Problem is, I don't know if I'm going righty tidy or lefty loosey. You know how good I am at that. Oh! Help me? If you had your gloves on and safety helmet on, you wouldn't have this problem. Well, I know. It's like right there, but I don't want to. Let me help you. You got it. Oh, I can't see anything here. here. Let me help you, and then just I'll... let me use your phone as a flashlight. Now that I had a light and could see the hole, that helps. I feel like that is right there. It's not. Okay. Got her. Lower it down. I guess. Here we go. That's good to me. I am tickled. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ray's been taking welding lessons. <laughs> they look a lot better. Well, that's good. Yeah, you're hard on me. I have to get better. <laughs> like Johnny Cash, uh, get tough or whatever they said. I'm what do you say? Sue. Yeah. What's Johnny Cash say? He's like, I had to get tough or die trying or something. I don't know what he says. No. You know what song <laughs> I'm talking about? Yeah, a boy named Sue. Yeah. <laughs> I probably think you love the bags. All right, Corey <laughs> is going to... I'm in love with the way the, the front airbags look on this. If you have heard him like in the video say he loves the bags, I will tell you, he loves the bags, the way I, they look. Not the way they look. The way you said Corey it makes loves it... Corey bags. <laughs> So it doesn't matter what kind. Okay, shut your face, jeez. <laughs> Get your nasty, clammy things off me. All right, so Corey has just made and cut this bracket. No, I did not make that. <laughs> I cut that off something. Okay, so I'll show you. The headlights go here. He was saying do something like this. You know, make a bracket. Obviously, it'll have to be longer. But have something like this that is going to Goes into wrap that around cross here member. and go here. And then the headlights will just... Yeah, so the bracket from here to the cross member, and then the headlights would still go through there. And then, yeah, that's the plan for that. And then the other thing I was going to say is where this cross, where these come down, I'm going to put some gussets to go from frame rail to there. Some, uh, it's hard to see in there now that. But here. Yeah, in there. Like right there. Yeah, right there. Yeah. So that's the plan. I think it looks good. Just. All uniform and looking nice. Woo. We love a car in uniform. <laughs> <laughs> All we need now is some air to it and it would raise itself up and down. But do it. Oh, we, we got to lines and all that. I have to get lines. I think it looks good. Okay. I'll be quiet because I know you're going to be like, oh my gosh, you already said it looks good. He loves the bag. <laughs> so there is that. There is a little Crosley body over here. Now that it's up in the air, we can go ahead and start welding all this together. Um, the rockers still need welded up really good. The bottom of the doors need fixed. There's still a lot of stuff to do on the car, but once, or, since it's in the air, we're, we're going to go ahead and uh, weld everything up we can. We got to clean up now. Um, Hannah's going to strangle me if I don't start cleaning up yeah. afterwards. So we got to clean up now, get on her second gen. We got to do a little bit on it yet, and then... Groundhog. We're not painting the groundhog yet. <laughs> we will paint it, but not today. Don't scratch my groundhog. Homie, hey, get off that turkey salad. <laughs> As I want to show you guys something we got in the other day, and this I thought it was is cool. Like Papa Bear of all the trucks we have. It is giant. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. I think I have to look up the year. I think it's like a 50, I don't know, 57, 58, 59 GMC 660. Thing is giant. Let me turn this thing around so you guys can really see it. I am like five, let's say good five, five in boot. Five zero. And this thing. She's a beast. Yeah. I, so I figured it had like. And it's down to the ground. Golly. <laughs> Open the hood. That's bigger than you. You're, lock, you're locking it down. You gotta turn it the other way. There you go. Now pull it. Oh. Corn dog. 
Here. Corn dog, would Hold you? That. Oh, wow. You made that look so easy. Why couldn't I get that? Oh, it's a V6. What? I figured this thing would have like a V8 or something. That's a V6 in this thing. That's stupid. Big V6. Are you impressed? Oh, yes. <laughs> but anyways, does it say what year it is? Now I'm curious. It's a 20. Year 20. Mm. Man, look at the door panel. What about them? They're so nice. Like barely rust. Let's see. I don't know. It's got the got a switch here for something. I'm pretty sure um, on the 41 Dodge, the Ventag is on the other side. Yeah, on the on that truck. Well, this could be the same. It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't think it's a 59 because the headlights. I don't know. Drop a uh, comment on what year this is. I'm saying a 57. Someone's got to know. But we got that, and it came with a, a Dodge rear end. Came with some fuel tanks. I put the cab up there. And it came with a 12-valve Cummins. Nice. So I had to have it. Stored in the garage. It's in the garage. And so there's this. We'll go ahead around the other side real quick. You got that, homie? Don't scratch it. Scratch. It's got perfect patina on this thing. I mean... Now I know we say that about everything, but we probably mean it, too. Yeah. So this one's probably stay here. I don't want to get rid of it. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there it is. What? The ever? Really? No, it's <laughs> no. not. <laughs> the dash is <laughs> even different than in your truck. It's got that step up right there. Huh? It's your oh, you mean how yeah, it right out. here it steps yeah. up, and it's got a little compartment here. Oh, oh for wow! The bat for the battery. Golly, homie, that is very custom. <laughs> All right, off to the next. Eh, needs a little work down there. All right, on to the next truck. You ready? Yeah. All right, so what else we got here is this old Ford, the blue one. Thought this thing was cool. Now, An I F5. Have, I do have plans for this one, obviously way later on, um, but there's someone who has a, what is it, his girlfriend? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh. Well, I know what you're talking about now. I didn't know what you're talking about with the information I was given. Girlfriend, wife, I don't know. Either way, a girl is interested. And I would love to see more girls in the rat rod truck building community. So um, I would let it go for her. But I do have plans for it when we get there. Yeah, when we get there. So there's that one. Mm -hmm. Pretty nice little truck. I love the front bumper. Front bumper is probably my favorite. What's your favorite? the color of course i love the color but michigan truck set inside for a lot of years um city services probably saying that off there it's got a little fan there's your fan golly that thing smells horrible like mouse poop Woo. yeah yeah so there's that you're going through puberty there, yeah i'm going through puberty <laughs> i don't know what happened there i'm recovering from a cold <laughs> let me tell you he had the worst case of a man cold like it was we thought we were gonna have to take him to the hospital you thought yeah <laughs> hannah's like you want to go to the er i'm like no i don't want to go to the er i'm just well, you're coughing like, up a lot right now i'm like you're dying i was dying that night <laughs> then we should have taken you to the er i did buy another second gen over there but we also might be selling that as yeah. well so there's that this is our um like car lift for my Viking. Yeah, so we're going to do some maintenance on Hannah's truck. So we pulled the, the wedge trailer out of retirement for a few days. And we're going to use it as our car lift to, to get the Viking. Um, it's ready to go pretty much. But we just want to check over a few things and make sure it is 
up to par for Hannah's terrible driving in Tennessee. <laughs> are we gonna order pizza? <laughs> what are you doing? Mm -hmm. Another project we need to bring inside. This is. <laughs> what kind of... I wonder if you can do them both at the same time. Well, apparently you can. <laughs> we have outdoor workout equipment. Yeah. <laughs> Not that we'll use it. Clearly, we probably should. But um, <laughs> we like our snacks, so we're gonna snack and work out. <laughs> Let's see it. Put it on heavier than that. You probably can't even do this. I'm like, you're just in a good mood for burning me today, G. Now, if you are not familiar with a second gen front end, here's what it does. That's pretty bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. Dang, did you even type my will? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dang. good thing we checked it. Mm-hmm. All right, let's get this thing tore apart. That's pretty bad. I've never seen it that bad. No. Why you got a bad wheel bearing? Do not get it dirty. Oh, turn <laughs> his little doing? headlight on. How do you turn his headlight on? Push the front somewhere. Yeah, I put I just put a wheel bearing in it. You definitely need brake pads. <laughs> need some rotors. They're all nice, hot, and cracked. All right, let's tear it apart. Something in that engine. For real? Go Is get it, it coming from that? Yeah. Hannah swears there's something living in this 12 There house. is. It sounds like a little chipmunk or squirrel that keeps making noise. So this is the 12 valves that came with that big orange truck. So we need an upper ball joint and a wheel bearing and brakes, pads and rotors. Okay. Put some lip gloss on it? I did. <laughs> I found it in my truck. Right um, <laughs> I looked over and I'm shiny lips. <laughs> Corey um, has got JLo's wagon that we got at the swap meet. Just, I just full throw of all tools. I just tools on that until I get back to my tool. It's like when kids clean the room and they put everything under their bed, Corey just puts everything in here. I'm just rolling them over to the um, toolbox. Uh huh. We got Hannah's truck done, finally. Yes, the it. The front end under it. <laughs> yep, so we are almost ready to go. We put new new pads, new rotors. It needed a wheel bearing, upper and lower ball joint, and both calipers. So it should be, it should be ready, mm -hmm. finally. We got it, the goods again. This time I went with Chicago's, and it's like literally half the money. All right, guys, it's going to be the end of this video. I know we didn't get a lot done, but well, we, we also, did, just not on camera, because we're just trying to. Yeah, we go had to get. Go. We had to rebuild the whole front end in Hannah's truck, so it's ready to go again. We got the trailer uh, ready to haul Hannah's truck. We had a little bit of failure with the fender on it, so we had to fix that. It's always something, but we are headed to the rod run. You know, the mouse trap is sitting there looking at us. When we get back, Corey is going to be in here probably late every night trying to get that thing done because it always motivates him when everyone else is driving something cool. Yeah, my wife has something cool to drive, and I don't have nothing. I have the right passenger. And she don't even let me drive the Groundhog, really. You are running over people. If you see us on the Groundhog and he's driving, you better just get out of the way because... All right, guys. You still got something oh, yeah. to get? So, if we don't see you at the rod run, 
then we will see you next Wednesday at 6 o'clock. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. One, one thing. Oh. Uh, on the mousetrap, we got the hoops on the frame. There will be gussets that go from the frame rail to the tubing. I said that in there. Well, I, I'm just making sure because someone's going to comment, you need gussets. There's a lot of stuff I don't really think about telling you guys and I forget. So we are putting gussets on a lot of the stuff. I just might not say it in the video, but all right, guys. <laughs> See Bye you later. again. Bye for now. <laughs> oh, wait. You're lying. We'll be at Buzz Bowl or Reagan's House of Pancakes. In the morning, in, in the it's morning, Reagan's. In the morning, we'll be at Reagan's House of Pancakes next to Jurassic, uh, the Jurassic Park guy. The big dinosaur? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, that Reagan's House Yeah, we'll be at that Reagan's in the morning, and then... The rest of the time will be either on the Groundhog or the truck will be, Hannah's 59 Viking will be parked at Buzz Bull um, Ice Cream Shop in that area. So, okay, I'll leave you. Go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting scared. Get him! Get him! <laughs> Get attacked. Why are you gonna kick him out on me? <laughs> Way to go. Well, he was coming back for me. We, am I in it? <laughs> I feel like it's way over. Um, that, that cab mounts on it. You want me to put it on 0.5? Oh, if you want to. Of course, we're using our airlift springs to go in here. So springs? Airbags. <laughs> Air springs. <laughs> Whatever. Come on, Buck. Come on, Minnie. Let's go in. Let's go to bed. Be ready for Dad to check you in and tell you a bedtime story. <laughs>